one of these nights we were going through and I happened to be texting someone at the time from Bumble and he mentioned that he worked at one of the hospitals that I worked for but he was an admin he was on day shift I was never going to run into him mm. convenient um, and that should have been a red flag then but I proceeded to talk to him for about two months and every single time we would set up a plan it would fall through mm. and it was always my fault because i worked nights and i would sleep during the day and he'd be like man i didn't hear from you all day so i made new plans every single time and i was like this is getting a little weird so we were at the hospital he worked at on a night shift around 3 a.m kind of like a boring witching hour where the, you're either going to fall asleep or things are going to get weird right, right. <laughs> and, um, one would hope at a children's hospital <laughs> She, oh, she's a baby nurse. Oh, no, yeah. Does she not know that part? <laughs> so the kids were all asleep. Um, and Been there, get it. I was like, man, you guys, I, I don't know. I haven't heard from him in a couple of days. It's kind of weird. He made it seem like it was all my fault. Um, and one of the nurses is like, hey, have you heard of a spy dialer? And I was like, I have no idea what that is. And she's like, put his phone number into this website. Write that down. Write that down. Right? <laughs> and all of the nurses are like wrapped around the computer behind me. And as I'm typing the digits in and the name comes up <sighs> and it's not his, it's a woman's name. And everyone behind me does a collective gasp and stops talking. And I like turn to look at everyone behind me and I'm like, all right, someone's got to tell me what that was about. And finally someone says, that's a nurse. She she works in the emergency department. She's married to an administrator here. His name's not Blake. Oh. <laughs> so, wait, episode. wait. She had been using her husband's photos? No, this man had lied about his profile, his name. He was an administrator at the hospital and his wife worked in the emergency department and that's how he knew everything about what I did at work how night shift worked he was so supportive of you know like my sleep schedule and how I have to live my life yeah because his wife did night shifts in the ED emergency room so uh, you <laughs> you met his wife did oh, you ever meet did you ever run into not. each other they said she was a, a scary scary human um, <laughs> and I called him that next morning and I said hey like jig is up we know who she is right we looked it all up one of my uh, workers looked up her home on white pages and like zillowed it and i was like yep, all of these photos that he has sent that's the bathroom that's the master bath that's the bedroom i oh, love yeah. zillow so Correct. much t's crossed eyes dotted that is him they have three children so God. did so on the phone call with him, mm -hmm. does he like confess to anything? What happened? He What's... did. He did eventually confess. He wanted to know how I figured it out. And then he was just like, Yeah, man, I don't know. It's not really working out with her. So like just maintained that he was doing nothing wrong. It wasn't gonna, you know, ruffle any feathers at home. And I was like, interesting, should I walk back into the emergency department? <laughs> no. uh, and then if you want to call that ghosting, that was the last time we talked. I, yeah, I think yeah. the entire experience is ghosting. 